take you guys through eight healthy food swaps summer edition. After doing my first part one of this, I got so many requests to film a part two that I'm like, let's make it a fun summer edition. If you guys don't know a little bit about me, backstory, I used to be almost 200 pounds and then I lost the weight. And when I lost the weight, I didn't know what to eat. I used to eat pizza, gosh, Krispy Kreme donuts, yum, sour spray candies. Like it was my jam. It was my jam. But when I wanted to lose the weight and I got just all ready for it, I didn't know. I felt like I needed to eat carrots all the time. And I'm like, this does not sound good. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys eight healthy food swaps that I made a summer addition to keep you guys, if you're in hot weather, weather if it's just summertime for you, I want to keep you guys reaching your goals. Also, I want to make it fun for you. So I got some recipes for you guys. I'm going to be showing you new different types of products that I use and the health benefits and how I incorporate these to help stay lean year round and make my long term, like just make this sustainable because that's what it's all about. No, no to yo-yo dieting. If you guys don't know me, I'm Elizabeth with Elizabeth Ayler Fitness. You can come join me on my Instagram and TikTok. I am there daily in my stories. And come join. Make sure to subscribe to this community. I bring you guys everything in terms of gut health, digestion, intermittent fasting, everything to get you to reach your highest potential when it comes to your health. My first healthy food swap is going to be for bread. I love myself a good sandwich, especially Subway. It's fast, easy, but when it comes down to it, a lot of it is coming from gluten and it's high in carbohydrates that are coming more from like white flour, not a lot of fiber. So it spikes the insulin, fat storage, hormones. Instead, I like to look at my food as, you know, just something that's going to go towards my hormones that my body is going to utilize and I'm going to get nutrition from. So I'm not a fan of the gluten-free, the keto breads. I feel like they are full of just a ton of coconut flour or almond flour and just a bunch of psyllium and just a lot of fibers that could be hard on your stomach. What I like to do is I love these cassava wraps. These things are amazing. I'm going to read you guys the ingredients, but just to let you know, they're gluten-free, they're dairy-free, they're completely vegan for so for two full tortillas, which are 50 grams each, you guys are going to get only three grams of fat, 24 grams of carbs. You're getting four grams of fiber. And remember, fiber is going to help slow down that insulin response so that we just don't have a spike in insulin from carbohydrates. And you're even getting a gram of protein. It's ingredients, cassava flour, water, coconut flour, coconut oil, so MCTs, um, you're going to get apple cider vinegar in here, guys, which is great for our insulin, a little bit of sea salt for our minerals, and a little bit of xanthan gum. And this is phenomenal. What I like to do with these is I will use this as a wrap alternative. So instead of going for your sandwich, make one of these. You could do some hummus on the bottom, layer some avocado in there for some healthy fats. You could make it even like a tuna salad. If you guys like doing a tuna or chicken salad, pile that in there, throw your vegetables in there, wrap it up and serve. And if you guys are also pizza people, you could even use this as a base and get like a primal kitchen sauce. And I used to love baking in the oven and making little mini pizzas. And like I said, guys, two full tortillas is 24 grams of carbs. Like compare that to your bread. So first food swap is going to be for a sandwich and it's going to be my tortillas. My second food swap. So I used to get a lot of cravings for sweet things when I first started, you know, going into my fat loss journey and I didn't know what to have. I'm like, can I even eat anything that's like a chocolate bar? What can I do? So this is what I do. This is a trick, guys. I was raw vegan for so long, and I loved things called dates. These are medjool dates. And what I like to do, these are very high in fiber. You got magnesium, potassium in here. These are great for bowel regularity, by the way, guys. And they taste phenomenal. 
okay? So I take a whole date, and what I do is there's a little pit in the middle, and you're gonna remove the pit, throw it away, and what you do is you put a Brazil nut or a macadamia nut in the middle, and if you want, you can eat it just like that, the medjool date with the Brazil nut or the macadamia nut, or you could take it to the next level. And what I like to do is I get a little bit of coconut oil. I will melt some coconut oil. I will throw in some cacao powder, which is the chocolate powder. And then I will dip the dates in there and then put them in the freezer to set for a few minutes. And it hardens and it makes like a chocolate covered medjool date. And then when you bite inside of it, it's like the creaminess of the Brazil nut, and it's so delicious. So instead of going towards chocolate with a lot of dairy and sugar in it, I'm putting a good source of fiber, the, um, the macadamia nut, and also the Brazil nut, a great source of selenium, a great antioxidant in the body, good for our hormones, healthy fats, our brain. And then if you decide to do it in the little sauce that I talked about with the coconut oil and cacao, you're getting more magnesium and potassium in that cacao as well as the MCTs with the coconut oil. So it's healthy fats. It's not going to spike the insulin. The sugar is naturally coming from the dates and it tastes absolutely delicious. And I keep these in my freezer as just little just snacks if you have a little craving and you want a little treat. So medjool date stuff, chocolate treats, I call these, or chocolate truffles. And that is my food swap number. Two. My third food swap is going to be for popsicles. So with the summer, it is so easy to just, we're outside, it's hot, even if it's not summer and you just live in a warm client or you're training hot and you're sweating, you want to make sure you're replenishing your electrolytes. You'll get my third healthy food swap is going to be for popsicles. So whether it's summer or you're outside training at a sporting event or you just sweat a lot or you just live in a hot climate, when you're outside a lot and you start getting dehydrated, you start craving like the slushies and the popsicles, and those, those are filled with tons of just artificial flavors, tons of sugar, the calories add up to them. So I'm gonna share with you a alternative that I do, and I'm so passionate about it. So instead of doing popsicles and slushies, we are gonna make electrolyte infused popsicles and slushies. So I am obsessed and I'm very picky. I am obsessed with this company called Element. And uh, what I do is this. You guys go on Amazon. Get just a little popsicle tray, okay? All of these are, it's your sodium, potassium, magnesium. When it's hot outside, when you're training hard, when you're sweating, if you're not getting in all of your electrolytes, you may start getting dizzy cravings. I had no energy, fatigue when I wasn't getting in my electrolytes. I just, I felt run down. I even had headaches and my recovery started going down. Okay. What I did was I actually started adding in one to two packets a day, but I started making it fun too, is I will take my water. I will actually take a whole packet of my element electrolytes and my favorite ones right now are the watermelon salt there is a raspberry gosh there's a raspberry one too raspberry salt's the top seller the orange salt but the winner is the grapefruit salt this is a one time a year limited edition like it is on right now but instead of putting a ton of sugar in your body this is actually going to help replenish your electrolytes. So this is going to help you with cravings, energy, if you ever get headaches, if you're fatigued, if you have water retention, digestive issues, like you need sodium, potassium, magnesium to run all of the cellular functions in your body. And if you're outside sweating or if it's the heat and you're dehydrated, that is really going to take a toll on your body. I even did a video on collagen and your skin elasticity. And if your body is dehydrated, your skin's not going to be as plump. So with collagen and all that, key. So all I do, guys, is I take a packet, like I was talking about. I put it with water. 
and I will just shake it up. I will pour it into my mold and then I throw frozen fruit in with it. So if you want to do like the raspberry salt one, you could throw some raspberries and blueberries in there, even some fresh mint, freeze them and then have them. There's zero sugar. There's like five calories total in here and it's going to make you feel good. And then you could do the same exact thing, but as a slushy. So you can blend up your ice into a slushy, throw a whole one of your element electrolytes in here and make a whole slushy that's just tastes delicious. And again, you can throw some mint in there, anything that you like. They have tons of flavors that you guys could try out. And if you guys do want to try out them, they gave me a special code for you guys. I will put the code for here. And if you guys use this, you can get a free eight sample pack with your purchase. Um, and it's every purchase that you guys make. So if you guys want to try them out, I will put the link in the description as well as here. And with every purchase, you can get free eight sample pack. But I love these and I do them daily. And as a popsicle or a slushy in the summer, it's just so refreshing, so hydrating, and it really kicks the spot without the sugar and all the calories. My fourth healthy food swap is going to be for pasta. So I loved pasta. To me, just anything bread related or pasta related or spaghetti, a jam. So I wanted to come up with a healthier alternative to it. A lot of pasta, again, guys, you're getting the gluten in it. Your body could be sensitive to it. There's not a lot of fiber. You're going to have the spike. So I want to share with you guys the super noodle that I found. It is called the miracle noodle. And what this is, it is literally made from a type of starch coming from a yam. And what is this starch? So this starch specifically is actually undigestible by your digestive system, meaning it's going to move through your digestive system. And because your body can't break down this starch, it's going to help act as a prebiotic in the gut. And you always hear me talk about how your gut and your gut microbiome is linked to fat loss. So it feeds the good bacteria in your gut, number one. Also, since it moves through your body not being digested, it actually is lower in calories and lower in carbohydrates. So this whole thing of noodles, I'm going to tell you, it's just water, the cognac fiber, which is this type of starch I was talking about, and then a little bit of citric acid. And you're getting two and a half servings in this whole thing, and there's only five calories per whole packet. So instead of just having a whole plate of pasta that has just a lot of carbs, going to spike your insulin immediately, you're going to get a lot of volume with this. It does not have a lot of carbohydrates. It's lower calorie, so it's a great way to do that. You can make this into a pasta. My favorite recipe that I do with this is I like to make a shrimp stir fry. Shrimp is so easy to have in the freezer. You can cook it within, you know, five to 10 minutes. And I use these noodles. I will do saute up some mushrooms with some avocado oil. You could do some onions, some red bell pepper, a little bit of coconut aminos. Um, and then what I like to do is I will make my protein source with that. So if you just want to do salmon or the shrimp that I talked about and make like a little stir fry and then boom, put it all in a bowl, your vegetables, your noodles, and either your shrimp or like your salmon. Top that with avocado. Delicious. It's healthy. It's going to be higher in your healthy fats that are going to stabilize your blood sugar levels. It's not going to be spiking your insulin levels. And it's going to give your body something that's nourishing, that supports your hormones. So instead of pasta, we try and our miracle noodles. And I found this in the Asian department at my um, Whole Foods. But they're in a lot of stores and they have multiple different names for them and different brands. And they have them noodles or even like rice style. My fifth healthy food swap is going to be for cheese. So I love cheese. I put it on everything growing up and what happens is a lot of the times there's a lot of dairy in it the calories add up big time as well i had a lot of eczema rosacea growing up and i didn't know that i was actually sensitive to dairy and when i cut out those things too i saw a dramatic change in my skin so i did want to mention that 
because I notice a lot of that happens with my clients as well. They don't know they're sensitive to dairy until they cut it out. So a food swap for cheese is going to be nutritional yeast. This stuff is incredible. So nutritional yeast, if you're vegan, you should be on it. It is a great source of B vitamins. In two tablespoons, you are actually getting five grams of protein. Like I said, all of your B vitamins, those get depleted due to stress. Those get depleted if you're, you know, on medications, birth control, if we're getting older, going to menopause. This is great. The calories, 40 calories for two tablespoons. If anything that you have cheese, you can put it on. So if you like your broccoli and cheese, broccoli, you could do your oils on it, throw your cheese on top. If you make, you know, a pizza like we talked about earlier on the wrap, put your cheese on top. This is going to add the protein. This is going to add that good cheesy flavor that you love, but it's jam packed with vitamins, minerals, and protein. So you're cutting calories, you're getting nutritional benefits and still getting that delicious taste. So nutritional yeast. My sixth healthy food swap is going to be for nachos, chips, anything crunchy, crackers. I used to love to snack. And even too, when I talk to my clients, if they go off on something, they're typically going and grabbing like a cracker or chips or dip or salsa, something with that salty and that crunch. So I wanted to come up with a healthy alternative for you that's going to actually provide you with vitamins, minerals, cut the calories, not inflame the gut and get our body's hormones and gut health functioning on point. So what I like to do instead is I invested in an air fryer, okay? Best investment of my life. There's a vegetable called jicama. What I do is I get the jicama, I slice up my jicama, I do some avocado oil in any seasoning you want. I love salt, rosemary, and thyme, my favorite. Put it in the air fryer, or you could do it in your oven if you don't have an air fryer, and you want to make it until it is crispy like a chip. You can take it completely Chipotle style, make yourself a guacamole, make yourself a little bit of salsa, or you could go like a little, almost like a honey mustard sauce, something like that, changing it up. But I'm a girl, I love my guacamole. Have those on hand in little bags for you. If you get that crunch, you're gonna be going to jicama. It's gonna have all of its fiber, the prebiotics to feed the good bacteria in the gut. It's going to be lower in calories, higher in nutrition, and then you're getting the healthy fats to stabilize it. So instead of going for those chips that are, you know, deep fried and all of those oxidative oils, all of our vegetable oils that cause more inflammation in the body, now we're putting in there something that's going to nourish our body, flourish our good gut bacteria, and help with our hormones overall. My seventh healthy food swap and don't leave yet because I still saved the best for last. This is going to be for French fries. I loved a good side of fries. And I kind of talked about how fries, they're deep fried in a lot of the vegetable oils. They keep reusing that oil. So it's literally just the deep fried oil. Keep getting rancid. Keep getting reused. And we talked about how the vegetable oils how they affect your body's gut microbiome, they cause more inflammation, affects your hormones, and that affects fat loss too. So instead of just going for the deep fried fries, I like to make my own in the air fryer. I like to actually use carrots, and you could do sweet potatoes, and they're absolutely delicious. If you were to make that in the air fryer, kind of just like how I talked about the jicama, with your avocado oil, your spices, and cook that and make that delicious. You could also do a sweet take on it. I love doing sweet potatoes with some coconut oil and cinnamon and making like a sweet fry, it's so good. Then you are going from 100 grams of your french fries at your restaurant being over 41 grams of carbohydrates with a ton of just oil on it that's going rancid versus around 10 to 20 grams of carbs, depending on what root vegetable you make per 100 grams with your healthy fat that's gonna be going for your body. So I loved doing that swap out. I noticed a huge difference in my energy, my gut health. It cuts calories, it makes 
less inflammation, makes your body feel better cutting out these things and changing into healthier alternatives. My eighth, and I saved the best for last, healthy food swap is going to be for ice cream. And this recipe, I'm going to put the full recipe below for you guys. But what I like to do is make an avocado ice cream. I get my avocados, I ripen them, and then I put them in the freezer so that they're frozen. And I use these in my smoothies, as I talked about in my last one, as well as I use them for ice cream. The recipe is as simple as coconut milk, avocado, a little bit of sea salt. And you know what? I'm going to put it below for you guys. So check out the recipe below. But the whole point, if you're going towards ice cream, even if you go toward a keto ice cream, a lot of the times there's a ton of fake sugar alcohols, which cause gut, gut issues, or there's a ton of sugar and dairy, again, spike insulin, fat storage hormone, and then you're having a tub that's like a thousand calories, or you're going toward more of a plant-based one that has tons of like guar gums and xanthan gums that cause, again, gas and bloating and don't make you feel your best. So I like to hand make a avocado one at home. It doesn't have a lot of sugar in it. We're using a little bit of honey in there for sweetness. And then we're getting all the potassium, the magnesium, the fiber. So we're stabilizing our blood sugar levels as well and getting that craving in. So I swap out any of the ice creams, even the keto ones, all of that. And I make an at home avocado ice cream. And I will put again, the full recipe below for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I want to know, would you guys like me to do a part three? I was thinking of doing one maybe all on desserts or just doing like a breakfast or a dinner edition. So let me know in the comments below. Also, make sure to subscribe because I got two new videos every single week for you guys. And remember, I go live for my Monday night Q&A right here on my YouTube channel at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I will see you tomorrow for our live and I hope you guys have an incredible Sunday. Bye.